Hello and welcome again to the city of Stuttgart. Today we will leave the city for a bit to get to know one of the most visited tourist destinations when you travel to this city. Although it is true that it is not located within the city, historically it is a place that has a lot to do with it. In addition, being always directly connected to the urban train lines, makes it part of the great metropolitan area that covers the local public transport network. We will visit what was once the royal house, the palace where the Dukes of Württemberg lived, one of the most beautiful places in this region. Ludwigsburg Palace But before starting, always the invitation to subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in Germany, you plan to visit this region of southern Germany. Either for tourism or because you plan to study and work here, we bring a lot of information about tourist destinations inside and outside of Germany. Also visit our travel blog TravelStuttgart.com if you are looking for more information about this and many more destinations. And without much more to say, we now continue with our visit. This is the Ludwigberg Palace, a historic building and one of the largest Baroque palaces in Germany, with a huge garden in this style. From the 19th century until 1900 it was the main royal palace of the duchy that became the Kingdom of Württemberg in 1806. It is located just 15 kilometers from the city of Stuttgart and there is access available from the central train station with the S4 and S5 lines. Unfortunately, during our visit, the front facade of the palace was under maintenance, so we did not get the images we expected, but we can still appreciate the beauty of its front garden. With its perfect landscaping and its fountains that give it that atmosphere of freshness and elegance. Let's learn a little about its history. Its construction began in May 1704 under the command of Duke Eberhard Ludwig of Württemberg, which is why it was named Ludwigsburg. This palace began as a pavilion or mountain house for hunting, but the project became much more complex and gained momentum over the following years, so the Duke finally founded the city of Ludwigburg next to the palace. Its design was inspired by the Palace of Versailles in Paris, and previously the royal palace was the old castle in the city of Stuttgart and due to the difference in its beautiful architecture, this palace in Ludwigsburg was finally chosen to replace it, turning it into the capital and residence of the Dukes of Württemberg. The palace was completed in 1733 with a design that prevailed in the Baroque style, although its design was modified by subsequent dukes. Today it has three types of design, Baroque, Rococo and Imperial. Inside, after the construction of the new palace in Stuttgart, this palace continued to be used until it finally lost relevance with King Wilhelm I who decided to completely establish the city of Stuttgart as the capital and residence of the kingdom. The palace was not destroyed during the Second World War. Since 1953, the palace has been open to the public and is visited by hundreds of thousands of families a year. The interior, exterior and gardens have preserved the appearance they had in the 1800s. The palace has three museums, the Baroque Gallery, which is part of the State Art Gallery, the Porcelain Museum, and the Baroque Fashion Museum, which presents an exhibition of clothing from the 1750s to the 1820s. Both are part of the Württemberg State Museum in Stuttgart. In its gardens, the palace offers its visitors different thematic areas, cafes and social events throughout the year, concerts and exhibitions. Its rear garden is a continuation of the Baroque garden in the front area, with its fountain and surroundings, which can be appreciated and combined with the rear facade of the palace, which for many is the most spectacular. Sand figure exhibitions, concerts and festivals are held in this garden, the most popular of which is the Pumpkin Festival, which takes place in all the palace gardens. There is an area of the garden with an aviary, which consists of a path of plants and flowers around a pond with flamingos and which finally ends in a grotto which was a tunnel from the old palace that connects to another area of the garden. It also has a very striking and well conceptualized Japanese garden, with a small exhibition of a collection of bonsai trees next to a small pond with a small waterfall that helps create a relaxing and very calm atmosphere. 
the palace also has a children's garden, a tourist attraction and an amusement park. A garden that consists of a small village between an artificial river with boats that travel through the different parts of the park. Its small houses and buildings with ancient designs are totally conceptualized with different children's stories such as Hansel and Gretel, Rapuzel, among others, with puppets and mechanical sculptures, lights and audiovisuals, a maze and a train. Without a doubt a magical place that children love. The entrance to the park costs around 10 euros per person, minors and students with identification can access at a reduced rate. The entrance to the museums is additional, you can buy the entrance to the three museums or individually. For more information you can visit our website travelstuttgart.com. For now we say goodbye and invite you to subscribe to our channel. We will bring you more destinations within Germany the state of Baden-Württemberg and the city of Stuttgart in the coming weeks. Thanks for your visit and see you soon with a new destination.